Hey guys, welcome back. I know that I already have makeup on, but I decided that even though I'm having a bad day, I'm gonna film anyway because I have to get myself in a good mood and sometimes this helps me feel better. So I'm going to my friend Jackiana's birthday tonight and so I thought I would film myself getting ready, show you my outfit and all that jazz. So, so just on my base and eyebrows, that's it. I used Smashbox Pore Smoothing Primer, Dior Foundation, precisely my brow pencil number four and Grind. Kush brow gel. I'm gonna do a basic eye look using this little um, NARS Silk Road number two and Silk Road number one shadow. I have spent so much time sulking that I haven't had time to get properly ready, so I've played myself and now I have like barely any time to get ready. But you know what? It does not matter if I look ugly because it's not my birthday, so. I got out the Surratt eyeliner. This is, yeah, it's just a liquid eyeliner. Look how smooth and easy it is to apply. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna bring this forward. Hopefully it won't obscure too much. Whew, that was lucky. Yo, this is like the luckiest eyeliner I've ever done. And pause guys, I'm sorry, I messed up this video. I forgot to change your batteries on the mic. This is like the luckiest eyeliner I've ever done. Clearly not that lucky. That little tack that you hear, let's listen to it. That's the mic cutting off because I forgot to change the batteries. And <laughs> well, I had to tell Chloe and <laughs> good thing we could salvage this because she's gonna do a voiceover. All right, so here's Chloe to continue on. That's okay, Seba. I still love you. <laughs> so if you see my mouth moving, it's because I was just chatting away like I didn't even realize the mic had stopped. So I'm gonna go along with the video just with voiceover. So as you can see, I'm just matching up my eyeliner to the other eye, making sure it's even. I really like that eyeliner. Um, I found it quite easy to get a nice sharp line, but when you want it really crisp, I take my concealer brush without any new concealer on it, like with just whatever was on it last time. And I use that to erase anything that I don't want there. Then I'm applying these lashes. These are the Huda Beauty and Lottie Tomlinson lashes, and I really like them. They're super big and intense. I would never normally wear lashes that big, but I love how they look. They're so doll eyed and open and I got a lot of compliments on them actually. I think I kept them so I should find them and wear them again. Now I'm applying bottom lash mascara. This one is from Pixi and I really like it for my lower lashes because it's small and it just doesn't make the lashes too heavy under there. Now this is the Huda concealer. I usually use coconut flakes and then I'm blending that out with a beauty blender, just nice and bright under there. And there I'm probably saying how much I love it. I don't know, but I usually dot it on my chin as well just to tie everything together. I feel like if I just have bright under eyes, it looks a little bit weird. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? But if I put a bit of brightness on my chin and my forehead, it kind of ties it all together. Now I'm using this face palette. This is the BFF palette from Becca. I really love their products for nice finish on the skin. So I'm using that and I'm putting the bronzer on my cheeks. I actually feel like I haven't contoured with like a proper contour product in ages. I just generally use bronzer. So I'm using that on this little contour brush from Sigma. And then once I've done applying the powder, I sometimes like to tap over with my beauty blender so that I've got that nice finish. There I'm just holding my hand up to check that it matches because sometimes I get a bit disheartened when I see my chest against my face because my whole body is neutral, but then I flush on my chest. It's hell annoying. So I was just dealing with that. Now I'm putting the blush on and the highlighter from the palette to finish off the skin look before I move on to lips. This is a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I really like her lip liners. I love all Charlotte Tilbury products. Their whole like vibe is really my vibe. I just love it. And then this lipstick is so bomb. So bomb. It's from Buxom and they make seriously the best lip products. I love their products. That lipstick is one of my favorite nudes ever. Okay, now I was just grabbing some powder because I want to do a light dusting. I don't know where the night's going to go. So I need to take a drink and then I'm going to apply some powder. I'm just using that around where I put the bronzer so I don't layer up too many layers of product. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So I just kind of apply it on the jaw and then with whatever's on the brush or whatever's left on the brush, I might sweep it over my cheeks, but I don't deposit it first over the bronzer, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, so there's not too many layers 
like getting built up. Then I've got a cover effect spray guys and I spray that over the top because if I've got powder on there, I don't want it to look powdery. I want it to melt in with everything. So I spritz that on and then I tap it in with a beauty blender if I need to. Okay, so that's the finished makeup look. I'm gonna go get changed and show you what I do for the rest of it. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got my dress on and my skin on my chest breaks out sometimes and I don't know why. Like you can see I've got breakouts on my shoulders and my chest is all red. Like I don't know why. I'm just, I have sensitive skin but only there. My face, it can take a beating. My chest and shoulders, I don't know why but it breaks out just by looking at it. So I'm putting the KKW body foundation on and I really like it because, you know, I like to cover that area if I am having a troublesome breakout. And I was just laughing because the inside of my arms, I'm not wearing fake tan here, but the inside of my arms are so pale, so pale. It's like blinding. Are you guys okay? Are you, are you, can you still see? So this is my dress. It's from Alaya and I got it on sale. They don't sell it anymore. I know they sold out, but I really like their dresses. It's such a nice glitzy dress for a night out. For Jackie's party, she is really glamorous. I think her style I would describe as like really glam. And so I wanted to get dolled up because normally I wouldn't. Um, and I knew she would be dolled up. So I knew that I wouldn't be the only one dolled up. So I did that and I paired it with some silver earrings. These are all Swarovski. I love Swarovski because they look like diamonds to the untrained eye but they're not diamonds and they're much cheaper and I love their products. So that's it. Got the jewels on, all my rings are Swarovski except my wedding rings, I think. And yeah, that is the look. So here I'm going, oh, look at me, look at me. I'm a shiny disco ball. I've got this train thing and then I've got my Stuart Weitzman heels on. These are my favorite heels ever. They're like a Lurex. So really shiny and they shine gold and silver. So I love them and they're really easy to dance in even though they're really high. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry it had to be a voiceover, but that's the way it's got to be. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye.